what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is your boy jay to the r so this video is going to be about how to load stems into any daw it always works the same for the most part it works the same for uh reaper it works the same for personas it works the same for pro tools it works the same for for cubase it all works the same and the way that the stems are it makes it a whole lot easier so let's dive right into that so the question was asked number one where do you find these stems at here's the easy way to tell you where to find them you go to google and you say music stems for practicing mm -mm. can't spell mixing straight google google you can find anything you can go to reddit there, there will be some listed. You can go to produce like a pro. There's some there. There's over 300 here, but I believe here you're going to have to actually pay for them. You can go to this one right here, this track right here that lists the best sites that you can actually find them in. So that's where you find them at. Just go ahead, go out and into Google, the land of Google's and you type in music stems for practicing mixing. That's the easiest way that I can tell you. And if you want genre specific, add, add your genre in there and hope for the best. That's all you gotta do. Now, once you download those stems, you got them on your hard drive, they'll probably be zipped. So you just unzip them to a folk. You just unzip them to a folder and whatnot and go to your favorite DAW. In this particular instance, we are gonna be using Persona Studio One. Now in Persona Studio One, it's real simple. You can come over here to files and if you extract them to one of your folders that you have over here on this side, that's great. But why go through that trouble? All you have to do is come up to song, import file, go to where you downloaded them, which is usually in your download folder. And you highlight them all, which is control A. You can even play them if you want to. And then you hit open. And there you go. So the good thing about this too is you don't even have to know the tempo. So don't even worry about changing your tempo. It doesn't matter. And the reason is because when you download stems, the beauty of stems is they start at zero and they end at the end of the song. So everything will always line up perfectly. See that? I didn't have to do nothing. All I had to do was import. So there you go, you got your stems loaded. And if you are in Pro Tools, it'll be the same thing. You'll go to File, Import is over here. Uh, I think it's over under File, under Cubase. You will always see an M Import Audio or something to that effect. And if you can't find it, you always got the help. And you always got Google. That's the easiest way I can tell you. But the good thing about the stems are they go from zero, the first bar, every track, to the end of the song. So timing and trying to sync stuff up, no worries, just download and dump and get the mixing. This your boy, let me know if you like this video and if it helped you. Peace. Yeah.